Hi there, I'm Ross Quintana with Social Magnets and thanks for tuning in. And uh, we're going to cover, this is my third video in this little uh, tips section, uh, which is actually part of a blog post that I wrote, um, which is called From 5,000 to 100,000 Twitter Followers, What I Learned. And it's a follow-up to my original article that I did my first year on Twitter, which was 0 to 5,000 uh, followers. Uh, what I learned and then in the next year I did this one now a lot of people obviously asking me you know what you know what is your strategies what do you do how do you grow your social audience and that's one of the things that we do and we specialize in and so the first video in this series uh, tips from the beard uh, is momentum the second video I talked about Twitter chats and in this video I'm going to talk about visual content you'll see the links to the other videos and the blog posts which you can check out so visual content this one is something that I think that this is important about Twitter and a lot of times when you get on a platform most people stay in the center and they focus on what the platform generally does but what I found is that each platform has its own quirks and 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 things that it does really good and other things that it doesn't do as good or maybe there's not the focus on and sometimes there's opportunities in those things that it doesn't focus on so like a great example is Twitter Twitter generally most feeds you see they're like text and links and and then you'll see that there's less photos and even less probably video and and so one of the things that I noticed was that you know you look at Instagram you look at Pinterest you can see these visual platforms are getting bigger because people like visuals and and also when you're just even looking at a conversion rate you want someone to click your link well if you have one without an image and you have one with an image that image is going to help get them interested and exciting and it's going to trigger emotions or curiosity or intrigue that make them want to click on that link more than words are going to do by themselves so it's just a smart strategy and because not a, it does take a little bit more time to to put an image with it or to load the image or create an image and so the good news is there's a little bit of a barrier of entry there so for that reason a lot of people aren't doing it which means you have less competition with a photo post on Twitter than you do on a regular link post and so there's a whole bunch of little micro strategies you know at my heart I'm a strategist and so and a growth hacker and 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 what I mean by that is I look at things and I figure out what's the smarter way to do those things and and how do you do how do you master the details so that you get more out of everything that you're doing um, if I'm going to take the time to do something I want to get a maximum return and I want to do it smarter so visual content is really a multimedia approach I mean look at which medias dominate right I mean there was radio right before that there was new just newspapers and stuff then radio comes out and it's like hey wait a minute and then TV comes out and TV has dominated for quite some time. I'm not going to get into that. I'll probably write a whole other blog post about that. But the fact is, is that visual content is important to add into your mix. Because if you go to a lot of people's feeds, it's just link, 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 link all the way. And it's not broken up. So it's just like a blog post. If you just have a big block of text going on for two days, nobody's going to commit to reading that. That's why you break it up and use bullet points and add an image. It's mostly to make sure that it's kind of like you're pre-chewing the information up for people so that they can consume it easier and so that they'll stay committed to looking at the next part. Um, and so with visual content, it's the same way. You want to encourage them. You want to make it easier to click your links. And that's one of the things that I try and integrate. So I, you know, it's not all visual and it's not all text it's a good mix because your audience also wants a mix there's people who respond to visuals there's people who respond who like links or infographics or video if you have something good information there certain people are going to consume it in different ways and you want to be able to provide whatever source they prefer and so work on your your marketing mix and make sure that you've included some visual content and if it takes a little bit extra time I'm going to tell you it's worth it you can go back and look then at your analytics and now you've also tr created a second tier of information from your analytics that aren't even native to your analytics probably your analytics may not break down how your photo or image ad or not ads but image posts are doing versus a text only post you know some systems may break that stuff down 
But you can do that just by adding in that. You can look at your top or your most shared and most engaging posts and see, oh wow, I see a pattern here. My, my image posts are always on the top of the list. My other ones, great, then add a few more, just that mix. So um, it's really also about expanding the platform and going where the audience isn't. So if it's mostly a link thing on Twitter, then by being in that smaller niche, like it's kind of segmenting your market on that platform, by being adding those visual contents and some video content, you're you're becoming you know uh, a, a big fish in a small pond of the people on Twitter who are doing video, and and so that's a really smart strategy because here everybody's doing sharing the the basic link tweets. So hope you enjoyed this, these quick tips from the beard, and uh, hit subscribe, leave your comments, let me know if you found it helpful. And, uh, and feel free to share it. And also, the next video is called Curation. Well, it's not called Curation. I didn't make that title. That would be a lame title. Um, it just is about curation. So you can check the next one and uh, check out the blog post and leave a comment down there and connect with me. So till next time, I will see you at that video.